In this problem, we're told the International Space Station has a mass of 4.19 times 10 to the 5 kilograms and orbits at a radius of 6.79 times 10 to the 6 meters from the center of the Earth. Find A, the gravitational force exerted by the Earth on the space station, B, the space station's gravitational potential energy, and C, the weight of an 80-kilogram astronaut living inside the station. Right, so this is an image of what's going on. Right, so imagine this is the Earth, right, and then this is the space station. And we know they're going to have some distance, right, R. This is essentially radius because you can imagine it rotating like a circle. Right, so from the distance of the middle to the outside, and they tell us this distance r is 6.7 times 10 to the 6 meters. Right, they also give us the mass of the space station, right, which is 4.19 times 10 to the 5 kilograms. Right, so we also, they don't give it to us, right, they don't tell us the mass of the earth, right, but that's something you need to know in order to solve this problem. So me, which is the mass of the earth, right, and you'll see why we need it in a second, but essentially it's equal to 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So this is the mass of the Earth, and it's just something you have to memorize for these problems because we're gonna need it, right? So this is basically the information we're given, and so let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, what we're trying to do is find the gravitational force exerted by the Earth on the space station. So basically, there's a formula you need to know, which basically solves for the gravitational force between two objects, in this case, the space station and the Earth. Generally, use it for planets, right, because they're very far away. And so basically, you can say F sub G, which is the force or the gravitational force, Right, this is New Newton's universal law of gravitation, F sub G equals, and then it's just G, and G is just a gravitational constant, it's a number you have to memorize, which is right here, but we'll talk about that in a second, and then multiplied by M1, M2, and so what M1, M2 are, it's just the mass of your two objects. So in this case, one is the planet, one is the space station. So I'm just gonna write MS and ME, which are just the mass of the space station and the mass of the planet, and then what you do is divide by the radius, which is the distance from the center of one to the center of the other, right, squared. So this is the formula you use in order to solve for the gravitational force. And so we basically have all these numbers. G is just 6.7 times 10 to the minus 11. It's called the gravitational constant. It's a number you need to memorize for these formulas. But yeah, you just got to memorize that. And then we have the mass of the space station, mass of the Earth, and then we have the radius. So all we have to do is really plug in. So let's just go ahead and do that. So 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, that's G, times the mass of the space station, 4.19 times 10 to the 5, and then you multiply that by the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98. You also have to memorize that because it's usually not given to you. 5.98 times 10 to the 24. And then we divide that by the radius squared. So we know the radius is this. So 6.79 times 10 to the 6th. And then we're squaring it, right? So keep that in mind. And so when you go ahead and do this, so you just want to square it, right? So plug all this in in your calculator. You'll get that F sub G, right? The gravitational force is equal to about, so this is just an estimation, so 3.76 times 10 to the 6 newtons. So I'm not going to show you solving through this, just plug in your calculator. But yeah, 3.76 times 10 to the 6 newtons, that's going to be your answer to A. So this is the gravitational force. Now what we want to do is move on to B. So for B, what we're trying to find is the, the space station's gravitational potential energy. So we're basically solving for, you uh, You can call it U sub G, I just, I'm just going to write PEG which is just the potential energy or the gravitational potential energy. And so, right, what, what do we do to solve for it? So this is just another formula you have to know in order to solve for this, which is minus G, the gravitational constant from the last problem, multiplied by the mass of your two objects, right? So in this case, um, you have the mass of the space station and then the mass of the Earth, right? So we have the mass of the Earth multiplied by the mass of the space station, and then we divide by R, not R squared. This one's just R. Right, so this is just another formula that we use for potential energy, right? In this case, it's going to be the space station, right? Because we're using the two masses between the two. And so uh, you just want to do minus, plug in 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, multiplied by the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24, multiplied by the mass of the space station, which is 4.19 times 10 to the 5, and then we divide by r. So r is just 6.79 times 10 to the sixth. So what you want to do is just plug this in. It's going to be a negative number. Keep in mind because we have the negative out front. And so it's just going to be minus 20, or sorry, minus 2.46 times 10 to the 13. So 10 to the 13, and it's going to be joules. So minus 2.46 times 10 to the 13 joules. That's going to be uh, right the potential or the gravitational potential energy or your answer to b. Now let's go ahead and do C. So we don't really have a lot of room, but for C, what we're trying to do is find the weight 
of an 80 kilogram astronaut living inside the station, right? So we're trying to solve for weight. And so what you need about you no know, weight, right? So we know we can calculate the weight on earth. Weight just equals mass times uh, gravity, right? So mass, what's mass, right? So their mass is 80 kilograms. That's just given to us. So I'm actually going to write it up here. We'll call mass of the MA, mass of the astronaut is 80 kg, right? So it's going to be the mass of the astronaut right? I'll just say weight of the astronaut times the mass of the astronaut multiplied by G. So G is going to be the gravitational force that they experience, but we don't know what that is yet. So that's what we have to solve for in order, in order to uh, find the weight, right? So how are we going to do that? So there's basically two formulas that we're going to use. So basically, we know that the force on the space station, okay, or basically the force on the space station, right, that's going to be acting on the astronaut is G, right? It's basically this thing, right? The force of gravity. So it's just G, times ms times the mass of the earth over r squared, right? We know that. So that's just one thing we know. And we also know that the force on the space station is going to be equal to what? It's just going to be equal to mg, right? Because it's just going to be the weight force. So mass, right? Mass of the space station times the gravity of, right? The space or the gravity that's acting on the space station, right? And so we know that these two numbers, g, is going to be the same as this one, right? They're going to be experiencing the same gravity. So what does that mean? What can we do? What we can do is replace F sub S with M, right? So just plug this in here. And then what we can do is go ahead and solve for G because we know all the other numbers. So I'm actually going to do it down here. So M S times G. So the mass of the space station times grav or right? G is what we're solving for times G times the mass of space station times M E over R squared. So uh, what you can do, right, is divide by M S Right? And if you do this, right, G times MS, so I'm not going to go through and tell you all the numbers, but just keep in mind G, that's G, uh, MS, right, because you should know how all these numbers are, right? We have all these numbers, uh, but if you go ahead and plug it in, you can solve for G. So when you do this, right, so you're going to get that it equals 8.65, and then it's going to be meters per second squared, right, because this is acceleration. Right? And keep in mind, it's like normally 9.8. So even though they're very far out, it's actually not that much less. So 8.65, that's going to be the gravity that they experience now. So we can just say, uh, right, the weight. Yeah, so weight equals the mass of the astronaut, which is 80. And then you multiply it by their gravity, which we just solved for. 8.65 right, meters per second squared. And when you do this, right, 80 times 8.65, you just want to plug that in right, you're going to get 692. So you're going to get about 692, right? You can round however you want. So 692, and then keep in mind weight, we measure in newtons. So yeah, 692 newtons, that's going to be the weight uh, of the astronaut inside the station. So this is your answer to C. Uh, this was your answer to B. And yeah, this is your answer to A. So hopefully you found this useful.